guys, I am going to read you your story of the week. And this one I'm so excited for. This is a famous author and illustrator. And what do we know that it, what an author does? Can you tell me? What does an author do? You're right. An author writes the words. And what does an illustrator do? In case you don't know, an illustrator does the pictures. But this author and illustrator is famous because they do both. And it is Tommy DePaola. They write, he wrote lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stories that I love. So this one today is called Mice Squeak, We Speak. Ooh, hmm, interesting. Well, so if we are going to talk today about some fun things about communication, and so we're going to talk about how speaking might be different than how some other things speak. Here we go. So this is called My, Mice Squeak, we speak. And here is our sight word for the week. We, W-E-W-E, -W -E, we, we, we. And that's one of our sight words for the week. And looking at this picture, we can see, oh, look at the mice. Can you all make a mice squeak? Squeak, 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 squeak. Make some with me. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Cats purr. Can you all purr? I guess you can't really see that. Cats purr. Ooh. When cats purr, that means they're happy. And up here it says purr, 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 purr. Lions roar. Owls hoot. Can you hoot like a spooky owl at night? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. How is speaking, like what I'm doing, different than animal sounds? Speaking says words that we understand, but do you think they are talking to other owls or they're letting people, letting other animals know what they're saying? I bet they do. I bet that's just how they communicate. Bears snore. And here on the words it says snore, 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 snore. Crickets creak. Creak, 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 creak. My Squeak. What do you think that mouse is saying on that cheese right there? Do you think he might be saying, I love cheese? Sheep. Bah. He says, bah. Monkeys chatter. Where does a monkey chatter? It says chatter, chatter, chatter. Where, where do they chatter? That monkey's chattering on what? A branch or a tree? Cows moo, ducks quack. And at my farm, I can hear cows moo all the time, but it's really deep. It's like this moo. Can you all moo really low? Moo. That's good. What information does this page share? It's time trying to tell us something. What does it tell us? The information. It tells us how cows speak, they moo. And it also tells us how ducks squeak, or how ducks speak. They quack. He says quack. Doves, coo, 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 coo. Pigs, squeal, squeal. Horses, neigh. Chickens, cluck, 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 cluck. Just like our little red hen. But I say, flies hum, mm. dogs growl, Urgh. bats screech. So this page shows us that animals even speak at what time of day? Is it daytime? No, they, they speak even in the nighttime. Coyotes howl. Can you all howl with me? Howl! Frogs croak. Oh, I can't turn my page. Parrots squawk. Bees buzz. Bzzz. 
And that's a sense. What sense do you use to hear bees? Bzz, what sense are you using? You can use your eyes for seeing and your ears for listening. I don't think you'd want to feel a bee. Ouch. But I talk. Goodness. The end. That's the last page. So that's called My Squeak, We Speak. So we're going to talk about some things now that my story has been read. So we're going to answer the question at the end of this. How do animals communicate and how do people communicate? That's kind of at the end. So when you do answer your question, that's what kind of question you're going to think about and you're going to answer. But we're also going to talk about the sight word we. Everyone say this with me. W-E-W-E, we, -E, we, we. And when we do sight words, we like to clap them. If they are, when we write them, if we they're big, long, tall letters and they touch the ceiling, we clap way up here when we cheer them. And if they just touch the fence, we clap at our belly button because that's kind of like a fence. And then if it goes into the basement, like the letter G goes down into the basement, we clap way down low for our feet because it goes into the basement when we write that. So think about the letters lowercase w and lowercase e. When we write them, do they touch the ceiling? Do they touch the fence? Or do they go into the basement when we write them? They touch the fence, both letters, W and E. They both touch the fence. So with me, let's clap those letters. W, E, W, E, we, we, we. Let's do that again. Here we go. W, E, W, E, we, we, we. That is a great sight word cheer. So that's our sight word. Can you use the word we in a sentence? We. We love ice cream. We go to the park. Can you say that in a sentence? Tell, tell someone. We, or I love when we. Good, good job. Okay, so one more thing that we're gonna talk about is, let's see, oh, the, the vocabulary word. Mm, this is a big word. Are you ready? The word is interesting. Ooh, what does that mean? Interesting. Ooh, that means it, it gains your interest. That means you are excited and you want to learn more and you think it's really neat. Interesting. So what animals do you think are interesting, that you think are really neat? and it interests you and you want to learn more about. Interesting. I think a rooster is interesting. What about you? Can you use that in a complete sentence? You say, I think something is interesting. Good job. Okay, and our second vocabulary word is delight. And that means like, oh, nice or delightful or wonderful. So do you think it would be a delight if you heard a rooster wake you up in the morning? Delight. Do you think that would be delightful? I don't think that would be delightful. I like to wake up to my, my, my alarm. And I'm sure you like to wake up to your families when they wake you up. Okay, so that's it for our read aloud today for my squeak we Speak by Tommy DePaula. And I would love for you to answer the questions and think about how do animals communicate and then how do we communicate? Talk to you soon.